Hello, hi, how you going? You're watching Reality Check Self-Defense, where we look at terrible self-defense techniques, make fun of them, and then test them out to see if they actually work. Kind of like Mythbusters, but with less facial hair. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a video made by India's special police unit, teaching women to choke out their taxi driver with a handbag when they try to kidnap them, or when they just make a genuinely wrong turn. It's kind of hard to tell. Here's the video. The first step is for me to tap him on the shoulder and let him know that he's going the wrong way. Hey, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me, you're going the wrong way. Excuse me, please. Hey! It appears to be ineffective. Now we'll move on to step two. For this, I'm going to calmly grab the handbag like so and just gently loop it over his neck and then I'm going to choke the motherfucker, fuck you! <laughs> Actually, just for real, like try to choke me with it from behind. Yeah. <coughs> that works. If I were a 19 year old female with daddy issues, that would, uh, that would definitely do me. The question that I need to answer now is, would I call it bullshit? In short, yeah, I would. Oh, you want me to do the thing? Oh, yeah. um, <coughs> and it's bullshit. Now I know what you're thinking, but it works. So why are you calling it bullshit? I'm calling it bullshit because it is just unnecessarily complicated. Why would you use a bag like this to choke someone when you can just use your arm? That's like using two condoms instead of using one. You're just overcomplicating everything and setting yourself up for a life full of disappointment. Why would I go for looping this bag over his head and then performing an air choke, which takes a long amount of time for him to actually be rendered unconscious, when I could simply just use my arms and go for a blood choke. And this is a rear naked choke and instructions on how to apply this are up there in the corner uh, above. But if you were 100% set on using a bag for some reason or another, doing an air choke probably isn't the best way to go about it. Now when I say an air choke, I mean any choke that relies on stopping that person getting access to air or oxygen in order to render them unconscious. This is essentially anything that attacks the front of the throat. And the reason this isn't a good idea is because it generally takes a lot longer to render that person unconscious than a blood choke. A blood choke is when you attack the arteries on either side of the throat, stopping them from delivering oxygen directly to the brain, as opposed to stopping this person to getting access to air to their lungs and such. And this actually works a lot quicker. So if you were set on using a bag, the suggestion was to loop it over the top, drag straight back like an air choke, now, this bag is just like a handbag from Woolies. I don't have uh, Plus Fitness, actually. Plus Fitness, if you want to sponsor me, you know, go ahead. And this actually isn't big enough to, to use this, but most handbags are big enough to do this technique with. So I found whilst looking through my mother's large collection of handbags. So instead of grabbing it like this and looping it over the top, like so, dragging back, position your hands like this, and then you would loop it over here. I can't actually do this with this particular bag, so obviously you would just go for a, you wouldn't use this. You would just use rear naked if you can't do it. And now, once you have your cross grip here, you would just pull across. And that is cutting off the artery blood flow to the brain there. Now this is doing the exact same thing as a rear naked, just like less effectively and with more risk because the things on the bag can break. So I don't know why you go for a bag, but if you're insistent on using a bag, that is, that's how I'd go about it. So this is the same thing as you would learn at like at the beginning of any kind of basic jujitsu class. You wouldn't be able to do it with a shirt like this. It has to be something representing a gi, like a jacket or something like that. But it's just essentially a different variation of a cross choke, right? So you're going up deep into the collars and then you would bring it down and block off the blood that way. It's kind of the same thing, but from behind with a bag. And it's gonna knock them out way, 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 way quicker. So that is the video. As usual, thank you to everyone on Patreon for making sure this is the thing that can actually happen. And if you wanna check out my training videos, follow me on Instagram. That is at the bottom of the page now. So that's it, goodbye, thank you, and see you next week.